what you're going to see is a movie scene and this is usually set up as cutaway it's not going to be done in what you're going to see here and this is more difficult than what you're seeing of course is Akuma the most famous monster American Bulldog on YouTube but what he's going to do besides a lot of people would not use an American Bulldog for this type of scene is he's going to come up grab a rope and this can signify other things but for training purposes we're using a rope and he'll take that rope and go off and go back to his mark. Most people will not do this in what's called a master shot, meaning that this is one shot. You're going to look at it and you're going to see the dog coming up, grabbing the rope, and then taking it on his own, going to the mark. Usually it's a cutaway. The dog will be trained to go up, grab the rope. That'll be one scene. Then they'll cut to the dog going over to his mark. And that usually means that there are two people working this scene. and One is uh, directing him to take the rope and the other person is calling him over to a certain area. Higher level of training than that and a lot of people don't do this because they're not doing master shots just one single shot and that's it but this is how it was done back in the old days usually uh, way back I'm talking back in the silent period you have one camera and it's taking the, the shot and the dog comes up grabs it and then takes off and goes to the mark this shows a higher level of dog training, which is what this is all about. It also makes it much easier for the audience to follow it because they see it makes more sense than cutting away, editing, 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 which is very popular, of course, in fight scenes and choreography, especially with people who don't know how to fight at all and can't fake it, obviously. But here we have the scene with the dog doing this, and this is vitally important to watch this. Again, the Jedi Dog Master using a 120 pound American Bulldog the other people would not use for this sort of scene this was not the sort of thing you would generally use this type of dog because they are difficult to train for most people and they are not known for this sort of ability but the way that I've trained this dog with my half a century of knowledge and experience makes it possible that I can do a master shot meaning that I don't need as many people on the set that this can be done on a closed set and that this can be done in one take doesn't have to be multi takes to get the overall sense of what's happening the action would be happening now again of course this can be substituted the, the rope can be a string of sausages which is something that was done back in the 1920s in silent movies you'll see that quite a bit dog takes a sausage and takes off this is something that would happen but this is a master shot